Hey guys, Mark Frosch at Protect Dog Training on a beautiful Sunday morning. We're heading down to Norman Augustine's place. Let them work these puppies. I got the three puppies still with me, so I'm trying to get them developed and do the puppy imprinting. And one of those things is my uh, sack work, basically get them imprinted on the sack with different people, etc. And then um, a lot of times you, you hear me talking about going to Tractor Supply, then Home Depot, and I'm doing all this stuff to develop the puppies. One of the biggest things that I do, whether you realize it or not, is go out and find locations that I usually go to on the weekends that have other dogs, saturation dogs, in a, in a dog-friendly type of environment, meaning club people, people that are into training, people that are into, right now, Norman's is a, a Schutzen club environment. These type of people are people that are very heavy and related into dogs, so they're going to be able to understand how to communicate with puppies a lot better and give you what you need. An uh, example of that would be um, D.O.G. D.O.G. is a little sharp and a little insecure. So that being the case, at his age, 13 weeks, what do you expect? But just that case being the case, like last weekend when I came down, I handed a leash to another person and took off and let D.O.G. get petted and, and handled by another person. That's good for the puppy if they know what they're doing, okay? That's what's important. So today I'll be wanting to do the same thing and I'll actually ask the crowd if there's a few people down here who wants to play with a puppy and um, let a, a couple of the girls and I'll just hand out leashes with puppies on the end of the leash and let them work the puppy and, and work on the socialization and get them used to things. I'll show them how I've done things and, and what their job is and give them a general idea and then they can play with puppies. So um, we'll see how that goes and sometimes you get volunteers, sometimes you don't. You gotta be careful, you make sure you get people that have a little bit more dog savvy, dog savvy nature, right? But in this club environment, that's what you're gonna find. A lot of these people are breeding their own puppies, they're around enough puppies and, and they, they know what they're doing enough that they can give me the help that I need. So it's a good thing for the dogs. So we'll see how that goes. It's one of those little angles and wild hairs that I get as I kind of look at my environment and see how I can work it, right? Be the same thing if I'm aware of foot traffic and that there's going to be a slower time period and, and I've got to read the animals, see where they're at, and I might go to Home Depot on the middle of the day. Or the, the other night when I went down there, if you saw in the videos, I was working in a, a nighttime environment. There was hardly anybody there. And that was great because you have a really uh, sterile, almost like a neutral lab type of environment because there's hardly any people there. Their energy levels in those different places. Uh, and that that right there will give you something else to, to be able to use. Uh, it's not just Home Depot, it's the time of the day, the weekend, uh, what is that traffic flow going to, to do for you or, or cause a problem? You know, you maybe sometimes you don't want that heavy traffic flow. So you gotta, you gotta think, you gotta put your thinking cap on and you gotta think about your environments and be ready to uh, pull your dog out and say, okay, it just didn't work out and don't worry about it, you know? It happens, you know, you get down there and the dog doesn't seem receptive to it and go, this isn't going to be conducive to dog learning and growing. Nope, I don't want to do this, right? So that's the way training is. I mean, you dig into something, you're working on something, and sometimes you have a bad day, you need to learn to quit and say, okay, we'll come back at it another day. Or maybe I need to approach this a different way, right? So you always have to be putting your thinking cap on when you're dealing with puppies and development of dogs. You're dealing with training in general, but... Uh, with puppies, it's all the more so. So, all right, that's about it for my little short yak session on a Sunday morning. You guys have a good day. We'll talk to you the next time. Bye bye.